morning. Happy Saturday. Today I am getting ready to leave for vacation. My hairbrush. Where did I put my hairbrush? I have iced coffee in hand. I just took a shower. Um starting to get everything together, which I'm gonna show you guys everything. I'm leaving on a cruise uh, on Sunday, so tomorrow. Today, driving down to Orlando. Gonna check out the Disney Springs area. I was, uh, growing up as a kid, I literally went all the time. We went every single year on spring break to Orlando and Disney Springs at the time, I think was called Downtown Disney. So, very nostalgic, I'm excited. It's like a whole new area now, I guess, like all over the place to get my swell. So anyways, I'm going to uh, air wrap my hair in curls and walk you guys through everything that I have packed for the cruise. So I am doing a, I have a cow pack carry-on bag and I'll show this. And then I have a small carry-on like suitcase. I just have the base travel three set or whatever. So I have a carry on that I'm going to bring like onto the boat with me. And then the checked bag I'm going to have is just the large base suitcase. And then I think that's it. Oh, a Cal pack uh, backpack that has like my computer in it just in case and like cords and all that good stuff. So camera, all the things. But I did a ton of research. I looked over a ton of YouTube videos, watched, read a bunch of blogs on like what to bring on a cruise. So I kind of did a decent amount of research, I would say, and found a lot of good tips and hacks for your like stateroom and you know, like what's good to bring, what's good to keep at home, all that good stuff. So I'm going to walk you guys through that, but I'm going to get my hair all curled here, blown out. I have a pink lily fall, like kind of funny. I have a pink lily haul I need to do today. It's all like super cute fall clothes, so I'm gonna do that and then head to Orlando. Also, I think I'm gonna hit up the uh, mall at Millennia, I think, Millennial Mall. I remember going there as a kid too and it was always huge and just like a big gorgeous mall, so I'm gonna do that as well, but I am gonna walk you guys through what I have packed. Really quick, I am unpacking right now, but I thought that this would be a little bit better me showing you guys what worked, what I packed, how much I love things. Everything will be linked on LTK or my Amazon storefront. I have like an entire cruise dedicated highlight on my Amazon storefront, which I've been really working hard on to like put things there for you guys if you prefer Amazon. So I'm going to walk through everything with you guys now. Had to throw on a sweatshirt and the second I put it on, I literally got makeup on it instantly. I just bought it too. Okay, let's start full unpacking. This is what I brought. This is what I love. Cruise essentials, everything. First off, I did bring my own blanket. This is one of the style collection Krista Horton blankets. I did bring this. I shoved it into, actually I think I carried it on because drove down there. So I had that uh, convenience of having my car, maybe not for everyone, but if you are able to drive, I live down here in Georgia. So getting to Port Canaveral was a three hour drive and it was really easy and I brought my own blanket. Highly recommend if you are somebody that likes having a blanket, it's worth it to shove it into a bag. Hi, Collie girl. Uh, but very, very worth it. Even so, another thing that I should say about it, as far as packing goes, you don't really have limits on anything. You can realistically bring five suitcases if you want to. For Royal Caribbean is what I had in my experience. You really didn't have limits. Uh, there wasn't like a 50 pound suitcase thing or anything like that. So. I packed my blanket and it was perfectly fine. I packed two different carry-on bags that I carried with me. I had my actual roller, which I'll show that. I'll flip and show that here in a second. And then I bought a cow pack bag. This is the duffel, I believe, and it has a little slot right here that I'm able to shove directly onto my carry-on, which I absolutely loved. It was so nice to just kind of roll through, going through check-in and everything like that, and I'll talk through that uh, when I'm not unpacking. Probably put that at the beginning of this video, but it was so, so nice. It has nine pockets in it. I don't have a discount code for it, but I know some girls do sometimes, so check and see. It's very, very worth it. I think this is like my new favorite airplane travel bag in general. So I have my makeup bag right here. This is just what I use for my makeup bag. I had that in there. Highly recommend making sure you keep like your medications, contacts, anything like that if you wear or have like necessities. Holly girl, can you get a ball? 
highly recommend keeping those things with you in your carry-on because what you'll do is you'll get there and your checked luggage, like big, big luggage that can't fit through like a standard TSA like conveyor belt. It's not TSA, I don't think. Uh, it's not. But anything that can't fit through like a standard, what you would normally bring on an airport security checkpoint, you do have to check. So uh, I would highly recommend just keeping your essentials with you in case something happens and it doesn't get to your room in time whatever. But on here, I just had a clip, made sure to bring stuff like that in this front pocket. I have motion sick patches. I wore these the entire trip behind my ear and I was not motion sick at all. Highly recommend them. I don't know if they actually worked or if I really just wasn't seasick, but they were on my, behind my ears the whole time. I have my little passport. I got this. This has everything I needed in it. It had my negative COVID test, has my passport, obviously, and then my COVID vaccination card. I think I'll talk about this in the beginning, too, but you do for Royal Caribbean, and every cruise line is different, and I think they're changing it literally as of today, September 4th. Uh, my cruise was six nights, or, or seven nights, so any cruise that was six nights or more, you did have to be fully vaccinated and be negatively tested for COVID prior, so I had my COVID results in there and all in this front pocket for me to grab easily. I have my own personal medications in this pocket. I had sunglasses. Highly, highly suggest making sure you have a pair of sunglasses. Uh, I have my little, an extra little tag. This was, and I'll talk about this too in the beginning of the video uh, as things like I bought and highly suggest, but this holds your little Royal Caribbean uh, luggage tag, which goes on the checked bag that you have. So this is perfect. This is how they get it to your room and they bring bags to your room until 7 p.m. That was in there. I had my purple tree. I used these. I got these from Amazon. I'll talk about those in the video as well, but those were hangover pills, sunscreen, more sunglasses, and that's all I had in the front pocket. And then in here I have, and I'll talk about this too, but this was my lanyard for my CPAS card. You want to get a lanyard or some type of keychain. I think for my next cruise, I'm gonna just use a smaller, probably like that long of a keychain because I didn't really wear this at all. I always kind of had my fanny pack with me or my purse. I'm not personally like a huge lanyard girl, but if you're somebody who just wants the convenience of throwing it around your neck, definitely get this. But if you're more like me and you just want it as easy access, which you need it for everything you do. Highly recommend just getting like a keychain. Also bought these on Amazon. These hold them in there and it scans perfectly. You need it to do everything. So this is like $7 for a pack of four of these. Great, great, great thing to get. Absolutely, definitely get it because it keeps, and they have them on the ship too, but if you just wanna you know, get ahead of the game, definitely do it. I had my glasses in here for essential. I had a huge, huge pack. This has all of my like daily supplement stuff in here, like my vitamins, my uh, greens, my gut stuff, creatine, uh, my wine, wine stick things that you rub in. I can, why can't I think of what those are called? My wands, uh, liquid IV, all the goods, drink packets, stuff like that. I keep that in my carry on and that always comes with me. Speaker, highly recommend bringing a speaker, not only just for in your room, getting ready and hanging out and stuff, but for excursions, being at the beach, uh, being on the deck, because sometimes you can't hear the music great and you can kind of be in your own little world because it's super windy up there. Highly recommend that. Little snacks in here. I had a tripod that I used a ton for photos. And then I had like a little emergency pouch. And this is just like my standard travel stuff in here, like everything you would think of to put in a bag like Tylenol. Um, I have some little wipes in here, stain remover, Vaseline, uh, gum, just what I basically keep in a purse. I keep this in my car too. Always have to have essential things. My hairbrush is in here. Um, this camera doesn't die. My Kindle. Kindle. Definitely recommend bringing a book or something if you like to read. Hand sanitizer, of course, and I think that's everything I had in here. And like I said, this does have the little slouch thing right here that you can throw it onto your carry-on bag. This bag also has a little shoe holder back here. I didn't personally use that, but it does have it. And it also has a strap. Here's another clip as well. We love clips. That is my carry-on. I carried it like this. It's very, very comfortable. I loved wearing it and they have lots of colors. So that was that bag. Next bag, this was way less essential than I thought it was gonna be. So I'll talk about that, but this is also CalPAC. This is more, I, I brought it because I really just don't go anywhere without like my computer because that's how I work. 
So I had my computer in the back, back here, and then I, what I really did was I kept, so there's my computer, and then everything down in here is all of my electronics and stuff. This, we need to talk about this. I will go more in depth on this, but my mini fan, I have my phone cord and an extension cord. This is so, 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 so essential. Make sure that it's cruise proof, some type of surge plug thing. But this was so nice because there realistically was only two plugins in the room. So to have my watch charging, my phone charging, my fan on, uh, to charge my speaker, Kindle, curling iron, blow dryer, all that. It was really, really nice to have this because there's like one to two outlets in the room. Front pocket in here, I kept, I wanna say, this was my little portable watch charger. I absolutely love this. It has a little keychain thing that you can hook on here. This was really nice to bring. I used this every day to charge my Apple Watch. And then I think I just have some little sticker things in there. In the front pocket, in this big pocket, not very much. I had like my little GoPro cam, you know, just like electronic-y stuff is what I kept in here, AirTag. I had another plug thing in here. I really was trying to just be prepared. I had no idea what I was getting into. So I brought that, computer charger. So this was more of like my electronics thing and I would definitely, I think I'll probably bring this on most trips. I don't know if I would if I were gonna get on an airplane at this point because that would be two carry-on bags plus like a roller bag and you can only have two technically in like a personal item. So it would just depend on what I'm doing or where I'm going, but I absolutely love this bag. It's so durable. It's very, very nice. It looks pretty. It was just a good bag to have and especially when you're cruising and it's not as important as to like what you have as far as bag allowance. It was really, really nice to bring this. The dogs are here to assist in the unpacking process. All right, this is my large base travel suitcase and I really, really like this one. I have it in black as well, uh, but I really, really enjoy it. So this is what my suitcase looks like coming back. I'm gonna kind of walk through it here. This is my dirty clothes bag. If you do not have a dirty clothes bag, honestly get this for all travel in general. I freaking love this. What I did is I basically hung it up in the closet they had and whenever I was obviously done with my clothes, guys, come here, Collie girl, come here. Whenever I was done, I just threw everything in here and now all I have to do is put that in my laundry basket and I'm set to go. Packing cubes is my next suggestion. If you don't have packing cubes, get a pair. You can get them on Amazon. I have the Calpac ones and I like those. I kind of want more durable ones, but get those. I basically categorized everything. So what I learned is I did overpack a little bit. This is a sweatshirt coming back. Holly, come on mama. I did overpack a little bit. You really, really want to kind of prioritize what you're going to be doing. And it depends if you're doing certain excursions, if you're planning on working out, if you're planning on, you know, being at the pool most of the time. Obviously, if you're going on like an Alaskan cruise, this is going to be different. But over here, I just had one of my uh, Ken's Customs bags and I filled this entire little pouch. I think this is one of the XL ones. I filled this entire pouch with all of my swimwear. So I had all of my swimsuits, which I wore most of them. I had a few extra and I put my cover ups in there. So that was completely completely separate and so easy to grab when I was traveling or when I was like going each day to grab my swimsuit. I just had my hair products in this suitcase as well. And then as far as the packing cubes went, in this packing cube, I kept all of my, I wanna say, yeah, this is my workout stuff. So I had workout shorts, different options there for like bras and stuff like that. So all my sports bras, all my booty shorts, general athletic shorts went in this packing cube so all I had to do was just open this up and grab what I needed for my workout that day and it was so nice or if I was I wanted just a pair of athletic shorts to throw on with a swimsuit top I could do that you know whatever it may be and I like wore athletic shorts home today so those were in there in that category as well that's that here Collins let's get your sweet girl go get that this packing cube was more dedicated towards like nicer shirts, t-shirts. You know, if I decided to wear like a nicer shirt with shorts or a skirt, which I did one night, I did overpack in this category. You definitely don't need as many daytime outfits as you think, especially if you're going on like a Caribbean cruise or you're going to be doing excursions. You really are going to be in your swimsuit most of the day and some sort of cover up or a t-shirt or something like that. And then 
you're gonna change into your night outfit, which my night outfit, 95% of the time was like, I wore this dress, I wore a romper, I wore this dress, like I was wearing dresses, so I way overpacked on like nice t-shirts and tees, I didn't really need that. But again, it depends on what your vibe is and like what you're trying to do. Okay, my dogs are really trying to help. I had my air wrap in here because I did wash my hair during the week, I figured I would, especially because I'm working out, I'm in the Caribbean, I'm sweating, guys, come on. All right, Collie, come on, come on. I did work out and stuff, so I did wash my hair. This is my fanny pack. Highly, highly recommend having a fanny pack. I used this every single day. This is like a $10 one that I got off the Styled Co. I have a few colors, it was really nice. And I used this every day to go to the gym. I used this for, uh, I put this in my excursion bag, which I'll show you guys that in a second. And that was really, really helpful to have. So make sure you pack something like this, especially if you just want, you know, for like in the mornings when you're going to get breakfast or you're going to work out or you're going to the spa, you don't want to carry your beach bag with you and you really don't want to carry your purse because I don't know, that's just not the vibe. It's more chill. So I had a fanny pack and this was really easy to throw in there. As far as shoes go, I brought... I think three pairs of wedges so I bought a tan pair that I wore and I did wear these I brought a black pair that I wore and then I'll show you guys in the other suitcase but I had several because I wanted to coordinate with outfits but like I knew ahead of time kind of what my vibe was going to be so definitely if you want to be less packed like if you don't want to bring as much definitely you could do like two and get away with it like a neutral pair and a black whatever you're whatever you're feeling and then right here I had in this little thing, I had all of my, I had I think two or three pairs of sleep shorts. I had bralettes that I wore to bed, <laughs> underwear, socks, uh, stuff like that. And then when you flipped it, I had like, I think I had two strapless bras and a regular bra. I literally didn't wear them at all. So there's that. Over here, I had more things that I did not wear. My cruise was hot the entire time. I realistically was never cold. I didn't wear pants, but I did bring a pair of like sweatpants. I brought two sweatshirts because I didn't know. I mean, if it's very, 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 very windy on the cruise at the top decks. So I was thinking I'd be cold, but I spent most of the time more on the lower decks in the bars and stuff like that. So it really wasn't a big deal for me as far as being cold. So did not wear that stuff over there. Didn't wear leggings. I didn't wear, yeah, there's just a few things over here I didn't wear. I packed uh, some jean shorts, jean skirts. Like I wore dresses. This is actually, those are pants. I wore dresses for the most part. So again, try and try and think of it as to what you're going to wear each night. And that's kind of where your packing is going to come from. I brought one pair of athletic shoes. I wore these every workout. I got three workouts in during the week and these worked great. Not my favorite shoe for leg day, but I wanted just an all around favorite and my on clouds are my favorite. So like when I was squatting and stuff, I just took them off, but they worked great. This was my dresses, rompers, my fancy outfits. And I realistically just put everything back in here cause I didn't wear it that long. So I'm not gonna wash everything. But then I just had lots of extra stuff. Like I just did not know what my vibe was gonna be. So jean shorts, I did not wear any of these. I think I wore one pair of my jean shorts on an excursion and that was it. And I think I wore them again actually on the next day too. So honestly, I would say one to two jean shorts if you're going on like a week cruise is good because I basically wore dresses. But again, based off what you like and feel. More athletic shorts, but that's basically this suitcase. I really organized by my packing cubes and the pouches. And then in here, I bought that on the cruise, but in this pouch, I just had a bunch of essential things makeup setting spray some self tanner stuff i had discs for my period clips just random extra girl stuff in here that i bring on every trip and i definitely use most of the stuff in there so that's my giant suitcase let's go ahead and unpack my roller carry-on this suitcase is probably the most where i'm going to tell you all my stuff that i would recommend because this is just where it all is she's playing with her ball so I wore these sandals for a majority of the trip. I bought two, brought two pairs, totally unnecessary. You really didn't need more than two pairs. I just wanted black and white. I wore the white the entire trip, so could have downsized with those. This is the white pair of shoes that I brought for nighttime, and I did wear these several times. So I had a tan, a white, and a nude, and I wore all three. So again, personal preference. I had a sun hat, highly recommend the sun hat. I wore this definitely because I did catch a lot of sun. It just, the sun hits different in the Caribbean, it just does. So having that, I have my curling iron in here. I have some instant coffee that I didn't use because they had Starbucks on the cruise. 
I brought some extra snacks. I did eat some of like my proteiny snacks and some of my bites. I didn't eat all of them, but I had them. This is just some stuff I bought on the cruise. Reusable straws, 110% bring them. I used them a lot. Um, you didn't need as many as I brought, but I definitely used those. I have my Downy Wrinkle Release Spray. I definitely recommend bringing this because they don't let you bring a steamer on Royal Caribbean personally, so I was really happy I brought that. I have my nippies. These are my boob pads. I wore those, especially if you're going to be wearing lots of dresses and stuff. Some wet wipes. I had a motion sensor uh, little light. I loved that. It's nice because it gets really dark in the cabin. Uh, I brought an extra spa band. I didn't need that. I had one and it was fine. That's basically all in there. I had my little InstaX camera. Love this. If you don't have one of these, this is a great thing to ask for for Christmas. Sorry, I'm trying to study you guys. Great thing to ask for for Christmas. I love these photos. They're some of my favorite. Sunscreen. I applied this 87 million times. Can't tell you if it worked great because I still got burnt. First aid kit. This is so nice to have. If you don't have one of these, get one. This baby's tiny and it has over 200 pieces in it and I used this on the trip. So definitely if I would recommend that. I brought this for my extensions in case I was going to go swimming because I wasn't sure what I would be doing. I didn't use it, but I still would bring it again because just to dampen your hair and then I would put like a conditioner in if you have extensions, you know, and then braid my hair. Have my greens back there that I take. This beach blanket, I used this and loved this. That's what those posts are back there. They go with this, but this is a huge beach blanket. I'll put a picture on the screen. It's massive, but this is pretty small for what it is and I loved it. My dogs are extra. Uh, I have an air tag in there. And then over here, let me show you really, really quick. My roommate is in here, so I gotta be careful. Two extra sandals. I did not wear these. I brought my Flutter Habit lashes, a portable, let me get my roommate. A portable light up makeup mirror. 100% recommend that. I used that every single night to get ready. Coffee cup, multi shaker, tumbler. Definitely bring a tumbler. I did not use either of these, so those were kind of extra, but depends on what you're doing again. Beach bag right here. Definitely, definitely bring some sort of tote, backpack, whatever you like for beach stuff because I use this every single day for the pool, excursions, etc. Loved that. Uh, these magnetic hooks back here, the walls in your room and your cabin are, uh, you can like attach these to them. I use these for literally everything to hang up wet swimsuits, towels, all of that. These were so freaking nice to have. Okay. Some souvenir -y stuff in there. I think that's most of my unpacking stuff. So I will talk through Cruise Essentials a little bit more in depth, but this is all that I brought. Let's talk about my favorite, oops, I'm about to drop stuff, toiletry bag. So I linked this on Instagram and talked about it there as well, but it is a hanging toiletry bag that I grabbed. Casey Holmes showed it first and I watched her put all of her full-size products in there and I was just immediately ordered it because that is me. I want to bring a few full-size products and then obviously there's little things for travel but this fits everything so perfectly so at the top it hangs which is perfect it folds in right here and then it folds in down here and i really don't know how it closes so perfectly but it does if something spilled i'm not even sure what that is i'll wash it but it is just so great to fit everything in here so at the bottom i just kind of organized it and when i got there i just hung it on the bathroom door and i had it categorized so like down here i had little wipes for my eye makeup there's poop spray some hair ties and stuff and then in here i had all my bathroom stuff obviously that i put in the shower Shower, and then I have my body lotion, I had chafing stuff, my razor, deodorant, that was kind of here. And then in the back of it, it has little slots that you can put stuff in and it closes, it just is great. And then this top one, I had like floss sticks right here in this little compartment and some bobby pins and then it's kind of messy now, but I had my hair stuff, it fits perfectly in that little slot right there, a clip, toothpaste, and then up here I did in these two slots because it actually expands up there. I did my bracelets up here and then earrings. So every single night I could just come in here and look it up and see, you know, what earrings do I want to wear. And it was just all organized, which I love so much. So other colors, it's $26 and it's on Amazon Prime. Definitely suggest for your next travel situation. It's just a great bag. I could actually, let me show you guys how it closes just for fun so you can kind of see it. So if I take it off, it looks like this 
And obviously you would want to close these slots. I'm just about to unpack it, so bear with me. But you go like this, and this is what it will look like. And it closes right the heck up, which is so perfect. And then it does have a little thing up here in the front. I am not even sure if I put anything in here. I did. I put more bracelets in the front. Like, holy freaking cow. There's more stuff in there. Anyways, favorite, favorite. Hello. Let me crack a witch's brew with y'all. Real quick. I can't even. Let me do this cheap one. This flavor, I know this video has like 18 parts, but I'm trying to get this up today for you guys so I can talk a little bit more in depth and I wanted to add more because I didn't talk as in depth as I wanted to when I thought I did. So here we are. Witch's Brew from Alani is fire. It's sold out. Uh, I'm trying to decide if the one on GNC is the same or if they switched it up from last year. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments because I would like to buy more cases of this. It tastes like the caramel apple suckers that I had as a kid. Did you guys have those? They're so good really delicious but hello also let me know what you guys think of this lens i don't know what i want my background to be i feel like you can see all my cups back there oh well let me know what you guys think of this lens it's a new lens i have a couple different ones i've been going back and forth with but hello welcome to the end of the video i said i was going to put this in the front but i decided i'm just going to put this at the very end and just talk through all of the things, answer the most common questions you guys had for me regarding cruises. I'm freezing, don't mind my fit. It's kind of a work from home day, uh, but yeah, let's jump right into it. I also want to, just to throw this in here, unbox my aura ring with you guys because I'm starting that as well and I'll kind of talk about the comparisons with Whoop here on YouTube as we go, but okay. Cruising was the best thing one of my new favorite things I've ever done, I've, as you can tell from this video, like I loved it so, so much. I can't say enough good things about it. I already booked my next one. I didn't actually like book the date and stuff, but how it works is you can get a deal when you're actually on. Sis, if you do not have to go outside and go potty, oh my goodness. Sorry, she's in a mood. It's been raining for days. They've been cooped up. She's really bored. But how it works is if you book the next cruise, so if you make you put a deposit down, basically it's called next cruise. You put a deposit down and you just have to book your cruise within two months. You save up to $600 and if you book it within 12 months, I think you save $200. Well, I know I'm gonna book another one. I know which exactly one I wanna go on. So I did that to save, but that's completely up to you. Moral of my story is I absolutely freaking loved it. I know the common cue, which was on my Instagram, uh, and I kind of chatted about this. I did go with somebody. Uh, that's really all you need to know. I was not solo on the cruise, even though after going on it, I totally would do it solo. There's not a time on that cruise that I felt unsafe. There's not a time that I felt uncomfortable. You're always around people. There's so many helpful employees and stuff. So I 100%, if you have considered it, Honestly, to like honestly, I might go by myself next time. I don't know. It's I kind of have more flexibility with my schedule than some of my friends and family. So uh, it just kind of depends on what it looks like. But I would I would tell you to do it if you've been considering it. Hundred percent. It was so good. I did the so I booked it. A question, a common question I had was, you know, why did you choose Royal Caribbean? What was the situation with that? Honestly, I just heard really great things about it. My mom and dad, the inspo kind of came from my mom and dad cruising. They did it a lot before they had us and they had never done Royal Caribbean, but they'd done Princess and Carnival. My mom said she would never do Carnival again ever. She did not like that cruise. She said it was more of, and nothing wrong with Carnival, but she said it was more of like a younger crowd, party crowd, which I personally didn't want. I am gonna be 27 years old in April and I just, it's not my thing anymore, which I'll chat about that too. Too about like how I handled the cruise situation because I feel about 87 years old like I love my routine I love being in bed by like 9 10 so the cruise was so fun but I am a creature of habit so I chose Royal Caribbean because I'd heard great things about it and I just heard great things and they had a lot of really fun ships and I liked the location so I did a seven night cruise it was the Eastern Caribbean First day we went to the Bahamas to their private island, Coco Cay, and then I also went to St. Thomas and St. Martin in the Virgin Islands, and they were all incredible. I'll talk about the excursions here in a second, but there's lots of different options with cruises. You don't have to go seven nights. A lot of people told me prior advice wise, like, you're not gonna love me on the boat for seven nights. Y'all, I'm pretty sure I am the type of cruiser who could be on that ship for 10 to 15 nights. I 
loved it. I never felt claustrophobic. I felt like I could do my normal routine, which I did. I woke up, I worked out, I drank coffee. Like they have everything you could possibly imagine. It's literally a floating city. Um, so you can do whatever you want, but I chose seven nights. That's where we went. Uh, and it was amazing and wonderful. It literally rained for maybe 10 minutes one day. I think it was one of the days we were at sea and all of the schedules for ships are different. So it just totally depends on where you're going and what you're doing. But like when I was looking at schedules and stuff, every actual cruise does it differently. Sometimes you go back to back to back to ports and some days you cruise for multiple days at sea. It just depends. But on the days at sea, I feel like there was always a million and 10 things to do just anything and everything you could think of they had an activity for. As far as kids go, I've heard about Disney cruises. I personally don't know anything about that, but I do know on this cruise, I was on the Harmony of the Seas, the ship, sorry, I forgot to mention that. And they had so many activities for kids. I personally was not, you know, I, I didn't love being around all the kids, not that I have anything against kids, but like I wanted a more um, like adult situation. So they had what's called the solarium on Royal Caribbean ships and that's at the front of the boat and like it's adults only. So you do have that option if you do bring kids and like somebody's watching the kids or whatever, but tons and tons of activities, tons of bars. If you look up on Royal Caribbean, a lot of their ships have some similar restaurants and stuff, restaurants, bars, and like they just had so many different things. They had casino, they had a nightclub, they had uh, uh, arcades, a carousel, they had seven to eight different restaurants, which is separate from main dining. So to talk about that, I chose the my time, my dining situation. So there's a main dining room that's included in the ship price when you pay. And then what you do, and I'll show you guys this, you do everything with your CPAS card. So this is what it looks like. I did not carry my wallet, ID, anything like that at all on the ship. The only time I took that was when we were at ports. But this is what you use. And if you choose to not do main dining, which I did not do the dining room one night, and I don't regret it because I loved what I did, which was restaurants and the buffet. I did the buffet, which is also included. Uh, so if you choose to do that, you can dress up or whatever. They have like formal nights where people really went all out. And then you go to the main dining room at your scheduled dining time. That's if you choose that. But I did my time, my dining. So I got to pick what time I would want to go to the dining room if I did, which I never did. I just didn't want to. I, I kind of, I, like I say, I don't regret it. But next time I definitely will do a night there because some people were telling me that the food's better in there because I didn't personally love the food on the cruise. Nothing wrong with it. It was okay, it totally worked. Food isn't a priority to me on something like that. I was more more excited about the sights. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge foodie, but that wasn't my priority on the ship. It was like, I wanna have the best food I've ever had in my life. That wasn't what it was about for me. I was more excited about the fact that I was gonna see the Bahamas, St. Thomas, and St. Martin. So you can do that or you can do the restaurants, which are not included, but you still use your CPAS card. You just flash this and then it's hooked up to a card on your account and it just bills you at the end, which is great. Actually, it bills you that day, but like you get your invoice, a whole invoice thing at the end of what you spent. So I did that. Uh, like I said, the first day was at Coco Cay Bahamas. That was wonderful. It's their private beach. Loved that. I honestly think two days there would have been more fun too because there was just a lot to do on the island. I just hung by the beach because that's what I like to do is be a loaf and just hang out in a chair. So I did that and then St. Thomas, I chose an excursion and this is another thing I would say. I personally am very happy with my decision to choose excursions via the ship. So the ship has its own app and I think I can show you guys this. Uh, Royal Caribbean has their own app. So this is like my little travel thing on my phone and you just click on Royal and it shows you I'm not gonna be able to show you because my cruise is over, but everything is on the app, which made everything seamless as far as entertainment, the entire schedule for the day, food, you make reservations for food on the ship. Um, everything is at your hands via your phone constantly. And there's also a loudspeaker all over the entire ship and they came on multiple times a day to just like remind you of things going on and stuff. So that was really, really awesome. Uh, and for the excursion thing, like I said, you can book via the app on your phone prior to going or you could do it on the ship, which I booked one prior and then I booked one for St. Martin when I was on the ship actually. So for St. Thomas, I booked that one prior and it was a uh five st st thomas was st thomas 
yeah st thomas i booked no that's a lie st thomas i booked when i was laying in a beach chair and then st martin i booked prior so st martin was the beach escape by boat three hour excursion and then st thomas i booked on the ship the day before we were at the port and it was a five-star island tour so they gave us a tour of the island and then we did some shopping downtown for a couple hours and then they took us to megan's bay which is really gorgeous i'll insert a picture here we were there for a little bit and then they take you back to the ship so the reason i recommend it and based off what you guys told me is that it's just a safer method because you do have a time allotted that you're at ports i mean it's not very long when we were at bahamas coco Cay, we literally were there from 8 a.m to and we had to be back on the ship by 3.30. So you're not there very long and to make an excursion on an island is risky and you can do it. You 100% can do your own thing. It's just to me, I felt more comfort, especially because the one day in St. Thomas, I got absolutely just drunk from rum punch. Like I just felt better knowing like they got us back there at the time we needed to be on the ship because they will freaking leave you. They will leave you and you'll have to figure it out. And that to me is a massive nightmare. So I felt safer doing the boat excursions. They really were not that expensive. I think it was like 64 bucks a person to book that one the other one I think was maybe 82. I don't know, not very expensive at all to book the excursions. So that's also a part of being on the ship. I don't know how much they are at the islands. You would just have to look into that. Like I said, I chose what I did because I liked the safety of knowing I would get back. So that was what happened in St. Thomas. Absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. I kind of shared some of that experience on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely do that. I shared a lot of the actual footage of it on there. I'll try and add some clips in here. And then St. Martin was the beach escape by boat. So it was a catamaran. They served us rum punch the whole time, took us to a little beautiful in st martin it's i don't know if y'all have heard of this but there's like an airplane or um an airport and it's on tiktok i guess where the the planes like legit are like right over your head we were right by that they didn't actually pull us into the island they literally docked right here and you had to swim to the beach if you wanted to so that excursion itself i loved the boat ride and stuff but i was kind of bummed that we didn't actually get to like take our stuff and go lay on the beach. We met some awesome people on the ship and stuff and we actually hung out with them for the rest of the day in St. Martin. But that was, <laughs> was like these airplanes and I had to swim to shore. So I will talk about what I brought for that, which I'm so glad I did. But those were the three at port days. And then you had days at sea where you could do whatever you wanted. I loved laying on the deck, which I'll talk about that stuff here and what I brought. But overall, you guys, like I cannot wait to take a million more cruises. I loved it so so much I can't say enough good things so showed you guys everything I unpacked showed you things that I loved I wanted to break down some of the Amazon purchases which if you don't already and you haven't seen it I do have an entire Amazon storefront where I link all of my Amazon things on there that I get off Amazon and then I do have an LTK and if you don't follow me on that already it, I do link everything that I can on there to talk about uh, so a lot of this stuff is on there pretty much just went ham on Amazon for this cruise. And I'm so glad I did because I truly felt so prepared. But okay, let's break down this bag. So this was the beach bag that I used on my excursions and stuff. I showed you guys this. This is what it looks like. It's really, really big. Has a little pocket in the back, has a pocket inside, several pockets inside actually. So I'm just keeping this as my cruise bag for good because I'm hoping to go on a eight night western caribbean cruise on one of the new ships i think it's called wonder of the seas i'm hoping to do that in january or february so i'm just keeping all of this together because i'm going to reuse all this stuff for my cruise cruising so i talked about this talked about the lanyard i mentioned that i would personally prefer the shorter one that's linked on my amazon storefront as well that's where i got that and then if i actually pull out this bag right here, I talked about this beach towel, loved this so much. It was great for going to the beach and it's really small and compact for your suitcase. Has little stakes in there too that you can uh, put your towel down on. And then these, I talked about this a little bit, but this was the uh, clear luggage tag things. These are great. They're very inexpensive on Amazon as well to have and print your luggage tags prior because I actually left one at home and it was really easy. You don't have to do this, but it was just kind of nice to be prepared. She just made me a tag really quick for my suitcase, but you do need to have something on your checked bags when you go. This portable fan, I said I was going to talk a little bit more about this. This was an absolute must. If you are cruising and you love having a fan on, you love... Is my, 
recording. You love having a fan on. You love just having some noise at night. This was so freaking nice alongside the extension cord that I talked about. I just plugged this in at my bedside and it was so nice. Like I didn't pull this back out. I said I was going to have this back out for at home, but this is like permanent travel for me. I have trips this fall in October. I'm kind of traveling a lot in October and I'm bringing this with me because I just love this. It's easy, hooks up fast, and it has three freaking speeds. It's really nice. So highly recommend that. There's lots of colors of that. The extension cord, an absolute must. Make sure that it's cruise approved because they will say something to you if it's not. I think it's like surge, which makes sense. You don't want your power to go out or whatever. And then this little tote, I did have my swimsuits in here, but I have several more of these that I'll use again, but they're great for packing cubes of things like swimsuits, which is what I used. I had all my swim stuff in here. But a really, 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 really happy purchase that I made was these uh, waterproof cases. So I told you guys the excursion that I went on, we literally had to swim to shore. Um, I wanted pictures on the beach and I'm like, a lot of people are like, dang, I didn't think of a waterproof case. And then some people did. These are really inexpensive, had them on my phone. It was so, so nice to have. It just goes around your neck and it completely kept my phone protected and you can still use it. It's see-through. Highly recommend, especially if you're going to be snorkeling or you're going to do some sort of beach excursion, definitely bring one of these. Even if you're not going to have to swim to shore, it's nice to have protection for your phone because you don't want to ruin your phone on a vacation in the Caribbean. Just don't do that. I talked about these. These were wonderful. Highly suggest those are on my Amazon storefront. Uh, the motion stick patches, I talked about that. Uh, a few other things. I don't think I talked about these very much in depth, but these were like the hangover pills that I found on Amazon. I think these worked great, minus the day that I drank no freaking water at all. So I am going to continue to use these for drinking. I think they did something, I don't know. The other thing that I didn't talk about earlier in the video, I don't think as uh, in depth, but these freaking pool clips, pool chair clips. If you're going on a cruise, get these. Order them ASAP Rocky. Get two sets, honestly. I could have used two per chair, but I had uh, one for the person I was with and then one for me. These are so necessary. It is so mother effing windy on the top decks of the boat. Maybe it won't be on your cruise, but it was for mine in the Caribbean. It was beautiful outside, but it was so windy, obviously, because we're sailing away at sea, going whatever miles an hour, 23, 30, I don't know. These are so nice to keep your towels if you have to go to the bathroom or you're not like at your chair the whole day. These kept everything perfect. And I just threw like my bag on my chair at the bottom because your towels will blow like crazy. Which also brings me to the next thing I was gonna say, and I don't have them in here obviously, but girlfriends, bring headbands for your cruise, especially if you're gonna be laying in your chair like I did. My This is how I wore my hair a lot of it. This is just how I wear my hair, especially when it's hot because I have a lot. Uh, and I would bear it up like this and the wind literally took my hair all over the place. It drove me nuts. So every single day I wore some sort of headband and I just had it like this and it kept my hair back, which was so nice. So I wasn't constantly like blown doing this all day long, which is really annoying. Um, so definitely bring these and headbands and then, um, some sort of lotion. I think I talked about that Brazilian. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in here that I didn't talk about in depth with you guys. I talked about packing. I talked about how I booked. I just booked it myself. I did not go through a travel agent. I just did it when they were having a sale, which they do a lot uh, to save on your next cruise. And you'll know this when you're on your cruise. It's called next cruise. That's how you can save moving forward. Um, but other than that, I'm trying to think of what else you guys asked. I answered a lot of stuff and I do have an entire highlight on my Instagram page as well as far as like cruise questions and stuff, but I can't recommend the experience enough. I freaking loved it so much and I cannot wait to do it again. I hope this video was somewhat helpful for someone out there who may be considering a cruise. Freaking do it. It was so amazing. And the fact that there's so many out there and I've never done it before just makes me really excited for the future. Like I can see myself even bringing kids on this one day, baby, because it's just like, it's so nice to have the convenience of like, you know, you're going to these places, but you don't have to think about it very much. You just have to plan what you're going to do that day. So, and then just get right back on the ship and everything like the service, the people, everybody was just so nice and kind and just like wanted you to have the best vacation. I gave a really, really good feedback in their review. Cause I know those are helpful for stuff like that, but 
I freaking loved it. I can't wait to go again. Hope this was helpful. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed if you did enjoy the content. I'm gonna unbox really quick with you guys if you care my aura ring. So you guys know that I had the Whoop, which I do love and I do still use it. I just found it kind of annoying and I didn't know if I would or not having two big bands on. That's the only reason that I'm trying the Aura because I wanna see if I like it a little bit more. So I got the gold one. This is exactly how it comes. That's what it looks like. You're unboxing it with me for the first time. I ordered the sample kit. So if you're gonna do the Aura ring, get the sample kit. It comes with all different ring sizes because it is not the same as your normal ring size. Like don't just go, like I'm normally a seven and my ring size that I'm gonna use for this because I'm gonna put it on this finger, I think. They recommend your pointer or my thumb. I'm a nine <laughs> in the Aura ring. So don't just order your ring size. You will be wasting money, but this is what it looks like. I see you, Kali girl. We're gonna get all this set up. But I'll keep you guys in the loop with this. I'm gonna set this up. I was just gonna show you really quick on this vlog and I will review it in the upcoming videos. But I love you guys so much. I know I've been a little absent on here, but just trying to get everything, figure everything out, find a balance, you know, life. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.